Welcome back to another video. Y'all know we have been really pushing this Wing Bits project. For those not familiar with Wing Bits, you can check them out, wingbits.com. And we are trying to expand it as much as possible right now. While it's still in testnet, this is when we need to get involved deeply in this project. But I understand they got some people who just don't know Ubuntu, they don't know Linux, they don't know how to run client or SSH into devices or even how to mess with Raspberry Pis and tenors or anything like that. And that's where I'm here to help you. So that's what this video is here for. People who want to get involved in a new crypto project. It's testnet. So again, none of this is financial advice. We don't know what the future holds. We don't know when it's ever going to come to mainnet. But that is what the positive is on, on getting into some of these projects early. People who got into other projects like Helium and Demo and name some of these other projects projects that are out there who got into them very early were very successful financially successful now again i'm gonna say this again this is not financial advice we don't know what's going to happen with this project we know we've been told that they have partnerships that are already coming on board there's supposed to be announcements next month for that we know we're very very close any day now from starting testnet and then once testnet is done they got some testing that needs to be done, make sure that testnet runs fine, see if there's any changes that need to be made, and eventually we'll go to mainnet. We have no idea what the token will be worth, where it's gonna be listed, or anything like that. We're here for this project. This project is very promising. There are a lot of good people behind this project. This project is doxxed. We know who's involved in the project. We've seen them on video. I am a very, very huge fan of AMAs. If you have been following this channel, the grumpy dad for any time now, you know, I say it all the time. I'm about trust. I've learned my lesson the hard way with previous projects. And when a project is doxxed and they put their face on video and they're doing videos for us with their face on it, and we know who they are, that goes a long way. Now we can always say we ain't hundred percent sure what the future will be. Projects have failed that have been doxxed. But other projects that say, trust us, you don't need this to be doxxed or anything like that. We know how that, how that went. So I have been contacted by some people who don't know anything about what I mentioned earlier. They don't know how to take a little potato or something like this or take their old helium miner, you know, and then connect it to an SDR like this, which eventually connects to an antenna which then eventually you're able to pull up a map like this, which is aircraft detection. Aircraft detection will then end up making wings. Again, this is a test net token, but that's basically how the process works. And eventually you'll be able to cash out those wings or swap them from another crypto. For some people that blows their mind, which is understandable. I'm gonna tell you before last year, I barely messed with Linux or any kind of the client Ubuntu Debian type stuff like that. I've learned a lot in the last year, but for some people it's hard to tackle. I have been contacted recently by a couple of people who were interested in host stations or places I wanted to go host. As you can see this antenna down here, that's, that's down here by South Texas. I contacted a friend down there. I knew there was a gap, worked out a deal with him and it worked out. I got another friend I'm working on a deal with on the Gulf Coast. Working on a deal with him. Currently in the process of working on a negotiation with somebody in the western, you know, kind of area, central western United States. So that's, I got to think that there are people who may be interested in this project, like I'm being told, that don't really want to go through all that. So what does this mean for you? Basically... I'm looking to set up a couple of host locations. I'm not going crazy. This is not going to be like some of them companies were with Helium. I'm not setting up a hundred of them. I'm not, I'm not even going to probably set up more than, you know, 20, 25 of them. 
I don't even really know if I want to do that many. I'm just me by myself. It's just something I'm looking to, again, expand coverage for this project, but also get people excited, I mean, people involved in it that normally would not be able to get involved in it. So what does that entail first? First, you're going to look at this map right here. You can look at this map yourself if you go to wingbits.com. This is the map. You know, you have the little toggle up here that where you can see the airplanes if you want by clicking this toggle. You can see the airplanes. But as you can see, there is empty spots around here. And we need to try to fill this up for this project. So now I'm not saying that if you have a location around here, we're gonna turn these planes off so I can see the dots. The dots are currently stations. Look, some stations are antennas that are inside that provide, you know, some decent coverage right above their house or you know, a couple of miles out, but nothing crazy. Um, but I mean, even if you live like in say Missouri right here, this is where I go hunting at. If there's nothing here by November when I go hunting. I'm bringing a lot of cash and I'm going <laughs> to work out some deals with somebody, but all jokes aside, but you know, this area right up in here, any, any of these areas, even into Canada, you know, I may, I'm really trying to keep this in the United States, but check this map out. Look where you live at. If there is not a white dot within 75 to hundred miles, contact me. Now, again, I'm telling y'all, this is me personally doing this. Despite what some people might want to think with my extravagant looking setup here, I do not have endless capital. If anybody has seen any of my videos in the last two months between taxes and everything else and me begging for handouts for my channel and building a supercomputer for better streaming and editing and stuff, y'all know I don't have it. I'm buying lip potatoes for $35 on Amazon with a $35 antenna. For some people, I have bought a piece of $20 top rail from Home Depot. They'll go pick it up. I ship basically everything to them. The box, the wire, everything to them set up already with tail scale involved. All they got to do is plug it in. Some of them, they just give me this a Wi-Fi adapter. They've given me the SSID and password. It's not like I'm going to their house when you live on the other side of the United States. It's already pre-programmed. All they got to do is plug this in the power. I give them the power adapter, give them the felon. They plug it in. I explain to people, this is a brand new project. I'm not looking to pay a lot out of pocket. Once this project starts paying, we can always adjust that. But what I'm trying to do with most people is work out a percentage of them with wing bits. When I set this device up, it asks me if there's a host. And then I can tell it, I can put the host's Solana wallet in here and say what percentage I want, whether that's 25%, 35%, 45%, 55%. And it could be 55%. But either way, and then you can get paid those wings directly. So basically, we're taking the same chance on this project. And you have zero out of pocket. Zero out of pocket. I'm providing everything. We write up a little paperwork, a little deal saying, you know, if, if you decide you don't want it, you promise to send it back. You know, maybe a little... <laughs> background check or something like that no there'd be no credit history checks or nothing like that it ain't gonna be nothing that official there's something signed that says you you know you won't disappear one day and if you want to disappear you at least send my device back but um you know nothing too crazy or nothing like that um you know some of my hosts wanted you know twenty dollars or something like that to help offset the internet split the internet bill a month I, I can handle that you know, um, or something like that. And then I'm keeping hundred percent of the, of the wings. Um, it all depends. It all depends on where you are, where you located that. If you're right here in the dead center of Nebraska, I'm gonna be a little bit more willing to work with you. If you are around right here in Denver, I'm gonna say, I appreciate the offer. I don't really think I'm that interested. I'm also going to look at where one of the, where I'm looking at for one of these host locations right now that I'm working out with somebody, they have stations within 50 miles of their house but when you go on to the wing bits and you check these flights out there's hardly any planes over it but when you go to the flight aware type website it looks like this well that tells me that these these locations i won't point at the exact one i'm going to right now but these these locations aren't optimal setups which is still ripe for me and you possibly so Without making this video too long or too boring and scaring people off, if you think you might be interested in possibly doing a host type deal, let me know. Hit me up. I have email in um, my, my description. Majority of y'all know how to get in touch with me on Discord. 
And what we'll do is instead of going back and forth with email, once we we know that we, we're legitimately talking to people and stuff like that, we will uh, you know, go to Discord or Telegram, Facebook Messenger, something to make texting a little easier. We'll deal with that. Again, if you're interested, this is a good way for y'all. If y'all don't want to have to worry about dealing with this and programming SD cards and programming Wi-Fi dongles and and having, you know, figure out what products to buy on Amazon and stuff like that. Hey, and then you can do it if in in two or three months and it does interest you and you see what I'm doing, you can always set up a second device somewhere and I'll even help you set it up or something. Um we can we can work work out another deal, who knows? But some I've just been thinking about doing. Again, I'm not going crazy with it. You know, once I get, I'm going to space these out. Again, I'm only doing the United States. I'm sorry because I've already had somebody contact me when I did a video earlier about possibly hosting, wanting to put one, you know, overseas. And I'm just not going to deal with the setup on that. I'm not going to deal with the shipping on that. This is something I want to be able to make it about as painless as possible for both of us. Um, so I'm, I'm going to work on that. Again, I'm not going to do a lot of them. So. You know, and at some point, if, if I think it's getting overwhelming or more than I can handle, I'll put a pin in the description below or in the comments saying, for right now, we're holding off. Contact me if you want to get on some kind of waiting list. Um, but again, it's a way for that to be zero cost for y'all other than the actual little setup at the house. And that would be it. So if you're interested, contact me. You got my information below. Thank you all for watching. If y'all can just like this video for me, please hit the thumbs up so that maybe you know, this will get spread a little bit more. It'll help the wing bits project out um, to keep everything simple. You know, right now I'm just going to strictly put wing bits on it right now. I'm not putting bit harvest or anything like that on it. I'm um, just, I'm trying to make these as simple streamlined as possible for those familiar with bit harvest, or if anybody's interested in that kind of project, you know, if you have a helium device, you want to do them on, I suggest you look at bit harvest and stuff like that. Bitharvest.studio, which is their website. They're on Discord also, where you can dual mine. You can have your helium miner up while you're doing wing bits and about 10 other projects. Um, that's something you can look at if you are interested in doing that type of deal. Um, you can go look into that. That option is there for those who are interested in doing it themselves. But for the, for the people I'm speaking to, contact me. We'll see what we can do. So thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video.